What's going on, guys? It's the Nerdy Steve here, bringing you our round one um the locals that happened last week that I was unable to um like edit because of me being sick um last week over at uh One Up Games um and here we have on the left a blue hybrid that we um that we tried to um to pilot on our first weeks of being back at locals against uh a green red hybrid um where they're going to pretty much take the advantage at the beginning uh by us uh playing a um like a boko and then putting down two tamers uh this is my first time playing against um the red green uh, hybrid so this is pretty much a learning curve for me one with the deck and two going against this deck as well um i do want to uh say i do appreciate all of the support um like during this whole week that we have been out because of us being sick and um uh, more content will be coming your way as as we see um the the medical veterinarian going to suspend the strawberry that we had on board and going to pierce over with the jp inheritable um taking on the source and then just hard playing a um a pokemon uh just grabbing um a tamer and a hybrid as we're going to hatch an upa um first start off the turn by getting the soaring joe um, like effect off um because they because they're gonna have uh no sources under the heat pokemon and we're gonna go on top of uh the sorting joe with the kuma and uh hard play at neman to be able to play a tommy just so that we can set up a board for next turn as we're going to pass over with, with one freezing the metal cafeteria mon uh hopefully trying to see if we can um freeze more and more on their side um i'm really sorry for the glare this is the first time that we set up the camera over um like at our locals so this is a huge um like uh uh like learning curve so hopefully the, the next time we go we can get better games less glare and a whole different matchups um this is the round one and it's just a test on how we can do over um like um like in our locals unfortunately the table that we got set up was a little smaller so we had to do with the minimal space that we had um as he's going to go into the beetle mon get the middle cow with Harry mon and go on top of the beetle mon for one to suspend our um our um uh, um our uh pokemon to be able to pretty much get through our um our only way of getting to putting a hybrid on top of Tommy for free as we're going to go on top of the Korikaku with the Bale Wolfmon for only one. Uh returning the, the Pokemon getting over the metal Kabuterimon. Um kinda trying to get uh, the the rhythm back into on um, like our favor as we're going to freeze the metal Kabuterimon again. Um as he's going to uh promote the Gaussmon. Uh right now we're just trying to play the um the game of trying to stun as much as we can to get more advantage on the field since um this list uh from my um um the consumptions doesn't run a lot of um the like, of the board clear like how the purple like how the the the, the yellow hybrid does um so here we're trying to think of what we're gonna do with the board that we have um trying to see if it's worth to go for the DLTK and as we're going to go to um like a Zulongman, one of my favorite texts in this deck, um um pretty much just playing out for two because he has three uh three of the three odd uh the amount with no sources as we're going to freeze the the the, the metal kabu um while we attack with the with the Korokaku we swung with the Korokaku first to, to make sure that we are able to freeze one thing on the field and we're just going to clear his whole um like security stack with the um like a Zulongmon and just use another um like hybrid for game. So game one we were able to steal it with the uh, Zulongmon tech, which we only really ran one in this build. Um as we're going to hatch an Upa and go into a Siako, then just hard play a Tommy to start um the pretty much the tamer race to try have um as many tamers as we can 
as early as we can as he's just going to drop down two tamers a jp and an izzy as we're going to promote a siako to kind of like stop the J the jp from uh reducing um like the cost by one so he he would have to pay the full two as he's gonna swing with the gilmon um draw a card and because the gilmon hit a, another tamer which it was the koji uh we are able to uh get a free tamer on board and because the metal couple Terramon goes on top of the, the on top of the JP, he's able to 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 suspend um, my Siako, and he was gonna go like on top of the Rhino, but then he realized it is the Siako, so he won't be able to do that. So we let him uh, like take that back as he's going to swing over um, with the metal uh, uh with the piercing to get rid of um, uh, like a, a a security, and then go into Gilmon to. Uh, swing out of security as I'm gonna go on top of um the Tommy to strip away this source for the Gilmon since I know he won't be able to do anything with that as we're going to bounce back uh, going to bounce back um we're gonna freeze the Gilmon and swing over the metal uh on the Kavitarimon should have uh bounced back the Gilmon but we do need the Gilmon to stay on the field so that we can get the Sora Joe to give us more memory um, he's going to hatch a the the uh the uh the uh the Mimera, go into the Gaussmon, then going to hard play a Bokomon, um, trying to get more resources out of his deck as he gets an Izzy, and I believe that is a Beetlemon. And with the Izzy, he's going to pass it with two. Um, I should be gaining two extra memory this round because of the Soren Joe. I believe I do realize that later on before I attack. Um. But I do have two Kojis on the field with, I believe, no uh, Magna Garurumons yet. So we're just going to go up to the Kendo for two. Um, just because we do get the jamming, so I think it's kind of worth it. Returning, I believe, it's the Gilmon to the hand. Um, and we're going to freeze the Pokemon, which it doesn't matter. We should have returned the Pokemon to the hand to make them... Um, waste the three memory on the Pokemon, but that was my own fault. And then we're going to hit into the security. Um, he is explaining what the uh like atomic, the atomic, um uh, like Inferno does, which will give every um uh, like Digimon on his field a plus one security. Um, which is really 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 good, especially um since he is gonna be able to swing with the Gaussmon later on with with a with the security plus one and. In this meta, with a lot of um, like tamers on, the f um, like often um, being in the security, you pretty much get two hits for free. So he's going to promote. He's going to bring over uh, the Beetlemon on top of the Izzy to look at the top five and grab a JP. Um, the Beetlemon is really, really. I really enjoy the Beetlemon just because he just it's it gets it whenever he digivolves. It doesn't matter how. Um, so you just get to look at the top five for free pretty much um especially with the pokemon which i should have returned to the hand but that was my own fault um now he can actually swing with two different checks um the gaussman will be able to hit the security for two and so will the beat him on so um if he can uh, it, it, it and he plays another like atomic inferno on top of the beat him on so he's able to hit me for three hits and the gaussman is gonna hit me for game um, the double Atomic Inferno makes this deck super, super, um, like aggressive. And now we're going to go into game three. Um, we do have the Mulligan rule, um, like as you guys saw in, um, um, like at the start of this match. As he's going to Mulligan down, t um, to his next five, I decide to keep. So I'm going to, which I decide to go first, um, which I don't know why I decided to even go first. I, I should have seen my hand first and then decided. But as you know, I would have to pick first no matter what. So that's fine. Um, as I only go for the Pokemon, um, no rookies in hand. I believe I grab um, um, like a rookie from the Pokemon. As he's going to go to his own Pokemon and grab um, a, a Metal Cup of Terramon and And I believe was a Ken. As he's going to play a JP down for three, always sending over three, and I'm trying to figure out what is the best course of actions as I go into Strabi in my racing. And I believe I just try to get as much value as I can out of this turn since 
I know that I, I won't have to do much as I place down the Koji. And I believe I just going to go on top of the Koji for free with jamming. Unfortunately, he won't be able to attack because I, I just played the Koji. Um, trying to see what I can with the little memory I do have. And I do pass four. I should have just played um, the the Davis uh, like a right and only given him one. But I do only pass over three because of the Koji um, me gaining a memory because a card was um, like added to my hand as he's going to go into the Metal Kabuteri Mon, um, swing over the Gilman and realize that wait, no, he can't swing over uh, the Pokemon because he does need a Tamer. So he does play the Izzy and then he's going to attack over. Um, since this is only like our locals and we haven't really played um, with this deck as often, so a lot of mistakes are going to be made and going to learn and we're going to um to backtrack so we're gonna try our best going um like forward um so he's gonna swing with the with the rano on uh, like commentary um into my kendo and i right now i'm i am way behind i i have nothing i can do i have three memory and i can't do much with it so i'm gonna go into the kuma to strip down um i believe it's the jp just so that he doesn't have any piercing anymore um so at least kind of um uh, save my own butt um like at the moment i'm gonna go into the kurakako to freeze the um like the uh, uh the, the uh the 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 pokemon trying to do some threat assessment at the moment or just trying to get my get my head like out of the waters right now since i am completely behind I do give him the free hit to the to the Korokaku, which I think was a big mistake. But um, as he's just going to play out the the uh, the Pokemon to grab an Ancient Beetle and a JP, which is gonna be really good, especially with the uh with the Rhino Kabuterimon, which honestly uh we. I just realized that that is a mistake because um, if he has a he does need a hybrid or a, like incentoids in the sources to be able to do that. So that was a a big misplay, a big blunder that actually we I just noticed right now. I'm um, like looking at the card. Um, so um, like I said, there's gonna be a, a lot of mistakes, but this is how we learn how to play this game. And this game is a whole lot of fun either way. Um. I, as he's going to play the third Pokemon, um, and pretty much just swarm the field for next turn, um, to to pretty much just um like it goes to the Arbormon for f pretty much um like gaining um like um um the t two memory back, and the Ken just they're not doing much at all to be honest. Um, he's gonna go into the Rhino. Um. Uh, into the Rhino Cup Harriman. And I believe going for the Atomic Inferno for one. Gonna swing over to hit um the Holly Memory Boost and the Strawberry for game. So pretty much just outright uh like taking my whole security in, um like in one turn. But that is the game, and I do appreciate you guys um for all the support. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and the subscribe. I really do appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys in the next um locals, which I believe we're gonna do the finals next. Um I will have to check, but on that, have yourself a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.